hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing a laravel 9 e-commerce series so now guys in this video we are going to learn how to display a new arrival products so new arrival is nothing but the latest products whatever we have added so now guys let's get started so guys now let's click on this new arrival you will find a url called new arrivals so let's create a route so guys now let's get back to the code and yep let me uh, arrange everything and now guys let's get started with routes web.php and now you need to create a route let's create a route colon colon get method where you are going to specify the route as new arrivals and the controller is going to be to the same front end controller okay so let's copy this guys so this controller is repeating again and again so what we can do we can use a group controller okay route group controller so let me just copy from below guys let's copy this and paste here so let me paste here close the route okay route controller and now you can copy this controller and then you can paste here all set and now you can call this inside the route here and you can directly specify the function name new arrival function new arrival okay so we are going to create a function in the front end controller so now guys you can keep all this controller whatever used in the front end you can keep here itself so let's copy this and paste here and you don't need this remove it and remove this bracket square bracket done so same way guys copy and paste and here is the collection let's paste here and this goes to the categories function let's paste here and now guys again let's copy and paste let me remove this copy and paste let's copy this complete route here paste it and this goes to the same front end controller at products function so you can copy that and paste here and now guys again copy and paste and let's copy the fourth route copy and paste here done and it goes to the which function product view function okay so let's paste here all set and now we don't require this so you can just completely remove it off done guys so now guys let's copy this and go to the front end controller and create a new arrival function so let's search for that control e and paste so front end controller open the front end controller done and now guys let's copy the function name here is my function name and i go below at this index function only i create a function function and the function name is new arrival and we don't we are not getting any type of data variable let's remove that and now guys you need to get the new arrival products okay equal to then you need to call your product model let me copy from here only guys so it's everything is going to be same just you need to remove this trending option we don't need trending only latest of 16 record we will be taking it out okay and now let's copy and paste here so you return view where you're going to view at pages dot new arrival so now guys let's create one folder with the name pages so let's move to resource views front end inside front end you need to create a folder with the name pages okay and inside this pages we will create a file name called new arrival so here create a file name new arrival dot blade dot php hit enter so page is successfully created guys and now let's extend the layout and all so we can just copy from the main index home page let's go on top and you copy this completely paste it and end the section and section and change the title okay new arrivals product okay and here you begin with designing your page so guys we already have that code 
let me just show you in the new tab localhost 8000 okay so now guys here you see we have already looped this data right so these are all are the products only okay so let's copy this code and paste in our new arrivals page so let's get back and yep let's move to the front end controller at index function okay so this is an index function and here front end index blade let's go to that blade guys index blade.php at the home page and here is a code so let's copy this completely guys full div just copy that control c if you don't find this code please watch out the previous video so after previous video only this video has come okay now you can get back to the new arrival and just paste that all set and now guys we need to remove few things from here let's name the heading first new arrivals new arrivals and then here you need to remove this owl carousel we don't require that so let me just minimize this product card and remove this complete item div okay and we don't require this owl carousel also just control x and now guys in this if else condition here you don't need to use this okay remove this if condition and this else part also not this else here else you remove it and instead of if else condition you can use for else okay so let me type here for else okay so this is the for else code guys let's copy and paste at this for each and then you need to copy this and paste here at this end as simple guys and now you can remove it and then let us take this div2 and paste here inside this else of for else okay remove this complete code okay so now guys you can get back to your front end controller at new arrival function and you have to pass the variable called new arrival product so let me minimize this sidebar first and we don't have slider let's remove this unwanted variables and send only new arrivals to your page new arrival page okay and here you need to paste that that's it done guys and now you see inside this product card there is nothing but uh, image is there okay image and then all your product details okay and now guys you can get back to your new arrival page and refresh you get your new arrivals data perfect so you see that new arrival product title and this is your new arrival pages and the cards are full size let's make it to smaller so here let's change the code guys so first step you need to change this column md12 to 3 and let me minimize this product and just push this inside your okay so it works fine and this is the row this is the looping and here you can add the column md12 all set and now guys you can check the output let's get back refresh you see all your products cool so guys here you see we have total five products but we don't know we don't have 16 products as we have given the condition here as to ex accept 16 okay so let's tell three okay so to test the condition let me refresh only three arrival products should be shown okay so here you see the latest three products is visible done guys so if you have more products you can keep it up to 16 and then you can give a like a new button or view all button that goes to your collections or category okay so let me just add that option also here after this for else let's give a empty div user a tag a link okay and we don't require this view more okay and here you give the path of your collections so what is that collections is nothing but let me show you in new here if you click on all categories it goes to collections url 
so let's copy this url and get back paste here done let's keep this in a center text hyphen center and let's design this view more as a button guys button warning px3 so it will give more width now guys let's save and check the output go to your new arrivals url and refresh perfect so we have got that button guys here view more okay so when you click on this you just move to your collections okay so you can select your category and shop more that's it guys so guys we have successfully displayed our new arrival products so in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share